Hi, and welcome to J.D. Edwards Orchestrator Solutions, presented by Grant Thornton. Today, we will be discussing a use case where we use some of the Microsoft Office tools to connect to Orchestrator Studio and enter an address book record. My name is Anthony Palmasano, and I'm an experienced manager at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, process improvement, and implementation. I designed today's Orchestrator solution and look forward to showing you the automation. But first, let's take a look at the requirements I designed around. For today's demonstration, I used the following requirements to define the automation. I wanted to be able to automatically enter the data into JD Edwards from some kind of external form, enter the data quickly into the address book, and then have all the fields on one screen and have some of those fields set to required. Finally, I limited myself to only the current tool set that I had access to. For this use case, I limited myself to JD Edwards Orchestrator Studio and the Microsoft Office 365 suite. So how did I accomplish meeting those requirements? Let's take a look at what I did. To begin the process of automating the data entry, I recorded a form request in JD Edwards that enters the required data into the address book. It's pretty straightforward to record a process. Just simply click on your name in the top right corner of JD Edwards and under the personalization section, click record a process. Once you start recording, it will record every click in the system and every piece of data you enter. So be aware of that because once you have completed the recording, you should then go into JD Edwards Orchestrator Studio and be sure there aren't any extra button clicks or erroneous data and just clean it up so it works exactly the way you want it to. Then once I got the form request finalized, I created an orchestration to wrap it in. Then as normal, I mapped the variables to the inputs and voila. I got an orchestration that enters data into the address book. Then together, once the form requests an orchestration will enter the data in the address book, I can set up a vendor record. So the next step was to create a Microsoft form. Now this video is not sponsored by Microsoft. This is just simply a use case to take advantage of the tools that your, your enterprise may have. I have access to the Microsoft Office suite. So in this case, I decided to use Microsoft Forms to create an order intake form. Now here on the right side of the screen, you'll see is a portion of that Microsoft form that I created. It's a pretty simple form. The form has all of the fields needed for the user to enter into the address book, and some of the fields were marked as required. You can see that little red star next to name and address one. These forms are pretty easy to create. You can simply drop multiple choice questions or data entry questions onto the form. You can mark fields as many as you want as required. Also, when you create a form, you can also share it by sharing the URL for the form. We'll look at this later. Finally, once someone fills out the form and clicks submit, you can grab that data, which brings us to our next step. So here, what we're looking at is uh, Microsoft Power Automate. Now there are several videos on and walkthroughs on how to use Power Automate. So I'm not gonna go into that much detail here. However, it is similar to Orchestrator Studio in the fact that you can automate a process with variables and make API calls. There's much more to it than that though, uh, but those are the aspects that we're using today. With that said, the Power Automate flow is kicked off whenever there is a response submitted to the Microsoft uh, form that we just set up, and that's the first box there on the right. And once that flow is kicked off, it gathers the variables from the form so that the answers to the questions in the form, and that makes an, um, an HTTP request as an API call to the Orchestrator Studio to kick off the orchestration. And then it uses the variables from the form as inputs to the orchestration. In the comments of this video, I've included a link to the Orchestrator API documentation. This gives instructions on how to call Orchestrator from an API call. That last bullet there, you'll see that's how you would make an API call for that HTTP request. On the right, uh, you would just replace the orchestrator URL with your environment, and then the orchestration there, uh, you will replace with the name of the orchestration. So now let's look at how we can combine these two into JD Edwards. As part of the JD Edwards toolset, we have Cafe One Pages. You have the option to edit a form layout to create a Cafe One page. And these Cafe One Pages allow you to add a URL to a third party website. Here, we can add the URL to the form we created earlier, which allows the form to be rendered in the Cafe One page. And users can enter the data into the form in JD Edwards and click Submit. This call will then initiate the whole process that we just set up. 
Once the users click to submit on the form, the Power Automate is initiated, which in turn calls the orchestration. Now I can show you how this whole thing works in our sandbox. All right, so here we are in our JD Edwards sandbox. Uh, you can see we've got a cafe one page here with the uh, Microsoft form that we created over here to the right and the address book application here on the left. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to create a vendor called Orc Solutions. I hit find. I don't have one there yet. So you can see with this little red dot that these two fields are required name and address line one. So let's put in Orc Solutions and let's do 123 Main Street. There's many other fields here that I could fill out, but I'm not going to just for ease of demonstration here. Uh, I'm going to click. Well, oh, let me check one more time to make sure there is none. No Orc solutions there yet in the address book. So when I click submit, it's calling that Power Automate, which is calling that orchestration. And there we go. We have a record. And then our mailing, yep, 123 Main Street. So that's how we can easily uh, enter data into the system using Orchestrator and Power Automate, Microsoft Forms. Uh, this kind of gets everything onto one page, so you don't have to click around in the address book. And like I said earlier, and you could share this URL to a vendor or anybody else within your enterprise to quickly enter that data in um, into the address book. Now, let's look at some things that you should consider if uh, creating a solution like this. Okay, so some things you should consider when you're going down this route of working with Microsoft Office Suite and Orchestrator Studio is that not all enterprises use Microsoft Office. Maybe your company does, maybe it doesn't. But if it does, you should work with your IT department to understand what that subscription model looks like to ensure that you have the, the pricing model that you need to use this tool. Uh, you don't want to incur any additional expense if you want, didn't mean to um, when you're using the Microsoft Forms and the Power Automate tool. Then I would also suggest reviewing the JD Edwards Orchestrator API documentation, not a proper, properly used HTTP request. I put a link to that in the comment section of this video. Finally, you might want to consider get on YouTube or anywhere else to, to get some Microsoft Power Automate training. It's a pretty robust tool. Like I said, it's very similar to Orchestrator Studio when it, where you can automate, obviously, a process or whatever you need to do within there. It's a very powerful tool. It does work with a lot of the different objects within Microsoft Office Suite. So take a look at that and you know get comfortable using that tool. So with that said, let's talk about what went well in this use case. All right, now let's discuss what went well when designing the solution. For one thing, we were able to remove navigation within the JD Edwards address book by removing extra clicks, and we made it more efficient of a process. That form we created allowed for faster data entry. However, you know, this could have been done with maybe like a form extension or a form layout where we removed a bunch of the fields and put everything on a single tab. You could do that as well, uh, but you couldn't really share that out to a vendor or someone else that doesn't have JD Edwards access, whereas you can with this Microsoft form. We were able to use our current tool set with no additional licenses to be purchased. So we have Microsoft Office Suite. We are able to use that. We've got JD Edwards and Orchestrator Studio. That's already paid for. So we were able to use our current tool set. Now this form doesn't have to be on a Cafe One page like we talked about before. You could share out the URL um, to anybody that you needed to to allow for the data entry as we talked about. With the right process in place, you could open this up for like a supplier self-service or even allow vendors to enter, enter in their own data. Um, if you did go that route, you might want to consider using the payee control functionality within JD Edwards. That would be a, a good way to audit the data getting entered into the system. It, it's kind of a stopgap um, before data gets committed to the address book. So consider looking at payee control if you go down this route. So with that said, um, this is a pretty slick use case for you guys to be able to enter in uh, data into a Microsoft form that then sends the data to Power Automate, which then calls orchestrators to enter the data directly into the system. So how can our Grant Thornton team help you? We offer multiple services to assist with your current JD Edwards install or implementation. Anything from a multiple day orchestrator training session to optimizations and enhancements of your current install, or even a full-blown JD Edwards implementation. Feel free to reach out to me via, via my email here or follow the links below to our LinkedIn pages. Thanks for your time.